guys, it's Adria. So today I am going to be filming another edition of Ask Adria. I don't know which number this is. Is this number four or five or three or I don't even know what number we're at. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions and now it is time to answer them. And I apologize if I'm like looking ratchet today. I think the pork I ate last night was not as fresh as it could have been. So naturally today I feel sick. <laughs> so just trying to make the best of a crappy situation. Let's just move on. <laughs> it's Samantha13. What made you become a YouTuber? I think just boredom, to put it simply. I think it was just boredom. I just wanted to do something in my spare time. So I just made a YouTube channel. Eliza Chapman Davies. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I think probably one of them is cookie dough. I really like cookies and cream for like a simple thing. I really just like vanilla, just like plain vanilla ice cream. When I was younger, I used to really like sherbet. Some people say sherbet, sherbet? I don't know how you say that word, but <laughs> I've always said sherbet. I really like that if I'm feeling something fruity. Ice cream, you can't go wrong with ice cream. Even though I'm like nauseous right now, the last thing I wanna be thinking about is ice cream, but, oh, you know what? Ice cream would be good actually. I don't care how rancid that pork was, ice cream sounds good. Teddy Soulheed, what would you do if I told you an almond wasn't a type of nut? I'd feel like my life was a lie. I'd feel like everything I thought was true just turned out to be, uh, like, not true. That would throw me off. Is that true? Is an almond not a nut? If so, then what is it? <laughs> I ma'am BM6, would you give up your YouTube channel for a million dollars? Hmm. <laughs> um, no, I don't no, I wouldn't give up my YouTube channel for a million dollars because when I think about, you know, I, I mean think of how hard it is to even build a following at all. I mean, if you yourself make YouTube videos, you know how hard it is to, you know, gain a following, gain people to watch you. And you build a reputation and you work hard for that. And to just throw that away, I can't imagine like just throwing away everything I've earned. When I think about how many people say that I've inspired them or changed their life, like to give that up for money, like that, no, I couldn't do that. I mean, as awesome as a million dollars would be, which it would be awesome, I can't even lie. If I could take the million dollars and then make another YouTube channel, cheat the question, always find a way around. Georgia Britannia, if you could give all teenagers two pieces of advice, what would they be? This period of your life may seem like the end, but this is a very minuscule part of your life and this is really where you're gonna learn a lot. This is where you're gonna dig back in your adult years and really kind of see how far you've come. So your teenage years are really just kind of your learning growth years. You know, they are not the biggest years of your life and it feels like it. I know when you're like 13, 14, 15, you feel like this is the biggest part of your life. Like middle school is everything, going to high school is everything, but it's such a small fraction of your life and as big of a deal as it may seem, it's gonna seem so small, even in just five years. <laughs> like, when I was a teenager, I thought it was the end of the world. I thought all my problems were the end of the world, but if I knew then what I know now, I would have saved myself a lot of stress. And the other piece of advice is to enjoy it, because I wish I had enjoyed my teenage years more. I wish I would have just... I don't know, just relaxed and just enjoyed it. <laughs> to put it simply, I think I just worried too much. Uh, Glitter Mat Matana 16. Do you think you'll dye your hair another color? I love you, Adria. I love you too. <laughs> I kind of regret dyeing it in the first place. I like, um, I, I mean, I like my dark hair, but I miss being a blonde because I feel like I'm just a blonde at heart. <laughs> I thought I would suit brown hair, but. I don't know. I mean, I, I like it. I like my dark eyebrows anyway, but I've always wanted like pink hair, but I don't know if I'd ever actually do it. <laughs> um, I never thought I'd dye my hair brown either, but I did. <laughs> actually, it was black. If you don't remember when I like first did it, it was black. I'm trying to let my blonde grow back out. I might dye it brighter blonde again. I don't know. 
Love is louder, 2001. What is your favorite thing about Brandon? I'll keep this short and sweet. I just like that he's weird. <laughs> I just like that he's a weirdo like me. Uh, Megan Sweeney, 23. I want to be a music teacher, but my mom doesn't think I'm capable of doing so. She doesn't think I will get into a music education college or be able to find a job as one. Any advice on how I can possibly convince her to at least let me try? Thank you, Adria. I love you. Well, I think if you're at the age to make decisions for yourself, I don't think it should really be about your mom letting you. If you want to go to school for that, who's to say that you can't? I mean, if your mom is paying for your college or school, like, that's one thing. But, you know, if you're going to be doing it all yourself, that's completely up to you what you want to do. Yeah, I, I think parents just want you to succeed, and I think parents really kind of know how hard it is to make a decent living in today's world. It's probably just finding a job in it. Maybe just do it. I mean, maybe it shouldn't even be a matter of convincing your mom, but maybe a matter of just proving it to your mom, you know? I mean, one of my favorite sayings is there's no greater revenge than that of success. And I, I've held on to that because there is no better way to just stick it to someone than to just succeed. You know, if somebody tells you that you can't do something, what better way than to just prove it? You know, if it's something you're really passionate about, you shouldn't let um, the fear of not finding a job, the fear of not getting into school prevent you from even trying. You know, you should at least try. And if it doesn't work out, I don't think your mom will be sitting there like, oh, I told you so, because that's not really how moms are. I think moms just want to see you do the best you can and make the best of yourself that you can. Do your thing, girl. <laughs> Life's memory keeper. What scares you more, tornadoes or hurricanes? Probably tornadoes. I experienced Hurricane Sandy, but Brandon laughs at me for calling that a hurricane, but Hurricane Sandy was bad, <laughs> but I've never seen a tornado. I've never had that kind of problem. Like, they've always put, like, tornado warning, but... Pennsylvania, as long as I've been alive, there's never been one near me. I feel like a tornado would actually, like, terrify me. Like, a hurricane, hurricanes are scary, but a tornado is an actual physical, like, object that you can see it. Like, it's a big black whirling thing of wind. Like, seeing that thing, like, over the horizon, heck no, girl, I would run so fast. No. <laughs> Un DXVD. If you could eat something every day of your life without getting sick, what would it be? If that also included not gaining weight or getting unhealthy from it, it would probably be donuts. <laughs> donuts are like my guilty pleasure. If somebody offers me a donut, I'm not gonna refuse. I don't care if I've been working out a week straight, eating clean. No, like that donut is going in this mouth. Sorry. <laughs> Chloe Sierra, do you like any bands? If so, which ones? I don't know. I'm really, I'm the kind of person, I'm the Green Day, Linkin Park, Fall Out Boy, All American Rejects, uh, uh, Three Days Grace, kind of like, you know, just that overall sound. Yeah, those are just to name a few bands that I like. I don't really like pop. I don't really like like Beyonce or anything like that. It's Anish, Anisha X. I, don't know, I probably didn't say that right. Uh, how do you revise for tests and not get stressed out? When it comes to like studying for a test and not get stressed out, oh, I used to always stress myself out so I just wouldn't study, which I would not recommend. <laughs> to not get stressed out, I would definitely plan ahead. Um, what I used to do when I was serious about tests and not just cramming the night before like you're not supposed to, when I knew a test was coming, say the test was on like a Thursday. In my planner for the week, like Monday, I would put like study. Tuesday, I would put study. Wednesday, I would put study test tomorrow. I would study in different ways. Like I would make note cards. I would read over my notes. I would rewrite my notes. Sometimes I would reread the chapter that it was on. That was just, you know, and um, I feel like cramming the night before really isn't effective at all. I feel like you really have to do it days in advance. So I remember studying a little bit each night before the test, it really made it a lot easier. And I feel like having somebody help you is also a good thing. I remember I had my Nana help me a lot 
with studying. She would, you know, sit with me for like 20 minutes and just, you know, go over stuff with me, quiz me on stuff after I've looked over it. So having somebody help you might be effective. It really just depends on your type of learning style, but that's what I would do. Haley, Claire, if Brandon surprised you with a puppy, what would you name him? If Brandon surprised me with a puppy, I'd probably freak out. I would like scream. I don't know what I would name him really. It depends on what he would look like, but I've always wanted a Bernice Mountain Dog. And if I had one of those, I I would, what would I name him? I don't know. I don't know, but look up Bernice Mountain Dogs. Those are my all time favorite dogs. And if Brandon ever got me a puppy of one of those, I would just <gasps> love an X. If you could have any dream home, what would it be and where would it be? I feel like my dream home, I can like see it in my head kind of. It's kind of simple, but nice. You know, it's, um, I want something with like a wraparound porch on it with a porch swing, not too big, but kind of big have like a fence wrap around the whole thing, have lots of trees around it, lots of flowers. I'd probably want it to be like yellow, like a pale yellow with like white shutters on it. I don't know, I'd want the inside to be like really open. I wouldn't want like a lot of like wall, 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 walls. I would want it to just be like open. And yeah, that's kind of my dream house. Where would it be? Um, I don't really care where it would be. I would just want it to be around family people I care about, people I love, and yeah. HTTP Desiree, how did you become obsessed with pandas and what is your favorite movie and why? I became obsessed with pandas when I was in high school and I found a panda dress at Hot Topic. I think I've told this story before, but I found a panda dress at Hot Topic and I wasn't even in the store. I kind of was just walking by. It just caught my eye in the window and I just like, I literally backed up and went into the store and looked at it. I'm just like, it's so cute. From then on, like uh, anything panda related, it just like caught my attention. I don't know what it was about that dress that just spoke to me that I needed it. And I spent the only $40 I had in my name to buy it. So, and what's my favorite movie and why? My favorite movie is Wayne's World. And I feel like I've also said this before. I haven't even seen it that many times. I've only seen it maybe like five times at the most, but it just puts me in such a mood. I don't know. It just makes me so happy. I like laugh the whole time. And it's like that movie is just my humor. That is my humor in a movie. <laughs> just stupid, weird, like doesn't appeal to everybody, but I just love it. <laughs> Cheerleader Forever 23, favorite Starbucks drink. I'm basic and like iced caramel macchiatos. I don't know why, they're just, they're so good. I remember one time Brandon just ordered me a caramel macchiato and they gave me a hot one and I like was like, no, I don't want a hot one, but I had to drink it anyway and it burned my tongue and I was so mad. When I have coffee, I like cold coffee, even if it's cold outside. <laughs> I really like the cold coffee. I don't like the hot, because all I can think of is my scolding tongue because I'm so impatient and I just chug the whole thing. I really don't even like hot drinks, really, now that I think about it because there's no like perfect time to drink it at because it's either scolding hot or it's like room temperature. <laughs> There's no like nice warm comfort in between. No, it's like either one or the other. It's not all about me, X. Hey, Adria, thank you for being such an inspiration to me. I love you so much. One question I want to ask you is what is one thing you do to reduce anxiety? I'm just really curious because I need advice. Thank you so much if you be kind enough to answer my question. I love you, XX Panda Hugs. Hashtag Ask Adria. Oh, you're so sweet, I love you too. One thing I do to reduce anxiety, one thing that works for me, that has always kind of worked for me is drawing. And even if you're not a good drawer, um, even just taking like crayons and just scribbling on some paper, just sitting there, just focusing on it, because it really gets your mind off of anything. Going for walks, oh my gosh, going for walks. Like, I used to go for a walk every single day and I, it, it feels so great. Yeah, going for walks, like that's like my number one I would recommend for everybody because you don't have to be good at walking. You know, anybody can go for a walk. It's just, you know, being outside, seeing the sky, breathing the fresh air, hearing the sounds of nature, putting some music in and just tuning the world out is just, 
perfect. I love it. So I would recommend that to you. Jordan Graves, if the whole world was listening, what would you say? P.S. I love you so much, Adria. I love you too. If the whole world was listening, oh my gosh, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> if the whole world was listening, I would probably make a general statement about how the world needs to just be more respectful. I feel like that's an overall mutual thing. You don't have to agree with everybody's decisions. You don't have to accept it or like it or anything like that. But I feel like the world just needs to know respect, to just respect people's property, respect people's opinions, respect people's different viewpoints. Because I saw a post once where it was something like a teacher was holding a book and he was like, this book is red. And the class was like, no, the book is black. But then the teacher flipped the book around and his side that he saw was red and the other side was black. So it's like everybody has a different perspective. Everybody is in a different place and sees things differently. And I feel like that's a really good analogy. And that really spoke to me because everybody sees things differently. And I feel like the world just needs to respect how each person sees things. I think if everybody could do that, the world would be a much better place. XX Reza XX, she asked me a lot of questions, but let's see, I'll just answer a few of these. There's a lot. How old are you? I'm 21. People ask, I get questions on this all the time. How old am I? I'm 21. I will be 22 August 3rd. Uh, she also says jeans or shorts. If it's hot out, shorts. <laughs> um, you know what? Even if it's not hot out, I really just like wearing shorts. I feel like my legs can breathe. She also says, do you read your DMs? I, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> like, I'll just be honest. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm very bad at it. From time to time, I do. It's one of those things that I do, like, late at night when I can't sleep. I don't know why. It's just, like, it pops into my head. Like, oh, I can't sleep. I better see what people are saying to me. Um, but I'm really bad at it because I get so many and that sounds like so like conceited and whatever that I get so many but I really do <laughs> and I get them on kick I get them on Instagram I get them on face like every social media is just flooded with messages and I wish I could just reply to every single one but it would just take up all my time but I do I do try to read them I wanted to make a video reading messages um I don't know how exactly it would work depending on how personal it was or not keeping it anonymous but like just giving like advice if it was an advice direct message but yeah sorry I'm Audrey if you could travel to another country where would you go PS I love you so much I love you too if I could travel to another country I would definitely want to go to Italy. <laughs> I have dreamt of going to Italy for years. I took Italian when I was in, what was it, 8th grade I think. I did um, Rosetta Stone Italian and I actually got pretty good at it. So if you're skeptical about Rosetta Stone, it actually does work. But, ooh, but I have wanted to go to Italy so bad. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. That is like my dream place to go. If somebody was like, oh, I bought you a ticket to Italy like you're going tonight, I would be like, all right, let me back. Pal Dancer 91703, what's your message to all the haters? There's a lot of people that hate me for whatever reason it might be. Some people say I wear too much makeup. Some people say my voice is annoying. Some people say my mouth is too big. Some people say I say like too much. <laughs> you name it, I've heard it. And my message to anybody that may dislike me is at least I'm doing something. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here on YouTube. I have an audience. I have people that like me. So I'm doing something right. You know, if the haters were right, there would be nobody watching me. There would be no one subscribed to me if I was that crappy of a person. So haters can hate all they want because at the end of the day, they don't matter. They're very minuscule because the haters are like that. And the amount of people that like me are like, Psh! so we can just flick them away like a booger. They don't matter. <laughs> Our Riv333, I don't know if I said that right, is depression and anxiety still something you deal with? Yeah, and I feel like it's something I'm always going to kind of deal with no matter what. I feel like it's just kind of one of those things. Everybody has something in their life that kind of follows them throughout their entire life. For some people, maybe it's their weight. 
maybe it's, you know, something else, but I feel like everybody kind of has something that just follows them throughout their life, and for me, it's that, <laughs> and, you know, sometimes it makes me upset, and I'm just like, you know, why? Why am I like this? I wish I could just turn this off and never have it be in my life again, but at the same time, you learn to deal with your problems, <laughs> you know, like, maybe you've struggled with your weight your whole life, you know, once you come to terms with that and just acknowledge that that's how you are, that's who you are, the better your life will be. You know, the sooner I realize that this is who I am, this is how I was created, that made living a lot easier. You know, it's just like, okay, this is me, this is what I've got, I've got to work with it, so. Zoe Grace Rose 15, describe your relationship with God. She asked me a lot of other questions too, but I'll just pick that one. Wow, that's a hard one. I feel like to describe something like that. Uh, and I feel like it is a relationship, you know, I don't feel like it is a religion, and I wanted to make a whole separate video about this, but I'd like to feel like I have a good relationship with God. I'd like to feel like, like God is what has kept me looking in the right directions. And, you know, whether or not you believe in God and watch my videos, that's solely up to you. But I feel like for me, feeling like there's somebody up there that has my back, that cares about me, like, that's comforting. I feel like keeping that relationship, praying and asking for forgiveness for things is really important. Just, I don't know, it helps me just keep my head, you know, sane. It helps me feel like, you know, I'm doing something right. And I feel like it's natural if you believe in any kind of God to feel like you're inadequate, to feel like you don't live up to your God's standards. I feel like that's normal and I feel that way a lot and some people have commented on like my self-harm story video saying well like, oh if you self-harm like you know you're gonna go to hell for that um <laughs> uh you know you can say what you want about that but the best thing about the God I believe in is he's already forgiven me before I asked so <laughs> yeah quart of milk Tell us some embarrassing moments. Okay, I wanted to make a whole video on this, but I guess I'll just say it here and now. When I was in elementary school, I was trying to open up a bag of chips during lunch. And, you know, if you can't do something or if you need something, you just raise your hand in the cafeteria and a lunch lady will come over and help you. But there was, like, no lunch ladies around and my principal came over. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is kind of intimidating. And he was you know, like, they're eating lunch, he had a soft pretzel with mustard on it, and he's just like, oh, hey, Adria, and he takes the bag, and is still holding his pretzel, and is trying to open it while holding his pretzel, that pretzel dropped right on my head, and the mustard part was in my hair, and I just sat there, like, the whole table started laughing at me, every kid at the table started laughing, and he was like, I'm so sorry. And I remember the gym teacher like came running with like a bunch of napkins and they literally just stuck napkins to my hair because they were two guys and they didn't know what they were doing. And I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go to the nurse and have her wash my hair. And I smelled like mustard for a week. <laughs> so there's an embarrassing story. There you go. Are you happy? Okay. We're just gonna answer a few more here because this video is getting lengthy, I can already tell. Faith Allen 12, two questions. Do you think you and Brandon will get married and the person you look up to the most? P.S. I love you so much. I love you too. And if your name is Faith, that is such a cute name. I love that name. Do I think Brandon and I will get married? I think so. I would be shocked if we didn't. I mean, <laughs> like, we talk about it from time to time. So I think we will. I mean, Brandon said he wants to marry me. So, if he wants to, he probably should. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on. And who do I look up to the most? Um, I look up to my mom a lot. And I feel like I say that a lot, but I really do. And her and I are actually going to be doing a video together about body insecurities because I was insecure when I was younger about being super skinny and my mom has struggled with being insecure about being overweight. So we were going to make a video together kind of talking about both sides of insecurity and how they're both kind of the same, how it doesn't matter what size you are, being insecure is a mental thing, it's not a size thing. So my mom and I were going to make a video like that together, and that was actually her idea, so that was brilliant. Um, but I look up to my mom a lot. I feel like she gives really good advice. I feel like my mom should be a therapist because she just like, I don't know, she's had so much like 
crap thrown at her in her life and she's just she's such a strong person when she wants to do something she does it and I don't know she's just such a people person which is something I've always admired because I'm so crappy at talking to people so the fact that she can like talk to people I'm just like how are you talking to them like we were on the subway in New York City my mom ended up sitting next to a bunch of strangers and like my family was all sitting on the one side like me and Brandon and my sisters and my mom was just sitting with a bunch of strangers and we look over and she's just like talking to all of them and she's like pointing over what else she's like oh that's my oldest daughter Adria that's her boyfriend Brandon those are my twins and I'm just like what is she doing <laughs> so she's crazy but I look up to her because she's awesome Brittany Lee 92 do you ever get jealous of Brandon if so how do you deal with jealousy in a relationship I've never gotten jealous with Brandon which is really weird because I used to get jealous at a lot but I feel like jealousy isn't really so much about the other person as I feel like it's about you I feel like when you get jealous about somebody else it's an issue with you not with them I mean maybe they're like you know out talking to other people that's one thing but you know if they're not doing anything and they're completely loyal to you but you still feel jealous and insecure that's something you need to work on definitely be in a relationship where you won't be jealous because I'm in a relationship where I don't get jealous Fran doesn't give me anything to be jealous about so that's what you want in life all right one more question for this video I still have a bunch more on this post so I will probably use this for my next Q&A as well so I'll just pick one more. All right, this is a good one to end it on. Abby Harple, what is one thing you would change about yourself and what is one thing you admire? Also, what makes you the strongest? One thing I would change about myself is probably uh, I get angry very easily. I get like road rage. I get impatient with people very quickly. That's probably my main thing that I would want to change about myself and that I try to change about myself. Also that I have a sailor mouth, which I'm working on. I, don't, I know I don't cuss on YouTube, but when the camera is off and when I'm watching Dexter, this mouth belongs on a boat out at sea because it's a sailor mouth, okay? One thing I admire about myself is when I compare myself now to how I was as a kid, teenager, I'm so different. I used to be so insecure I would never even like take my shirt off like to go swimming. I was so insecure and I really just kind of hated myself to be honest. Um, but I really kind of like that I've come out of my shell but I feel like I did it all on my own I feel like it was all just growth and maturity and learning and not wanting that for myself anymore and that's something I really admire I feel like what makes me the strongest is having faith even when you can't predict the future and that's really what faith is it's believing in something even when you can't see the other side I think it's like there's like a Martin Luther King quote it's like faith is taking the first step even when you can't see the whole staircase it's like something like that that's that's a really good quote I know I probably didn't get it right but I feel like that's what makes me the strongest cause I've really kind of just taken a lot of leaps of faith in my life uh, one of them being coming to Florida to meet Brandon that was a complete leap of faith you know like he could have been a serial killer dextered me and threw me off a boat so you know I took a chance to meet somebody that I cared about and it worked out and he's my bestie we're biffles so I think that's something that I think I'm the strongest for is kind of having faith in things and trusting that everything will work out for good eventually oh my gosh I've been like hiccuping throughout this whole video I've probably cut it all out but oh my gosh this girl is like sick that pork is like all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Ask Adria. If you would like to participate in the next episode rendition thing, part, yeah, number four, five, six. I don't know what number it is. You can follow me on Instagram. That's typically where I put the posts up for Q&A time. So, yeah, and the rest of my social media is down in the description box as well as my Patreon if you want to support me doing what I do. That's cool too. Yeah, I will see you guys again in my next video. Until then, Panda Hugs, I love you guys. Bye! What is my neighbor doing home at 2 in the afternoon? Does he not adult? Please stay down, pork. <laughs> I was literally Googling hamsters with long butt hair. That was literally, yeah, that's literally the last thing I was looking at on my phone. Okay. <laughs> One of them coming to floor. I need to restart that. Okay.